back the channel. So, uh, just going to give another update on the gears. I know most of you are probably getting sick and tired of hearing about it, but uh, anyway, I went through them and the noise is still there, but I'm going to run it anyway. I uh, got to get the break in period done and then we'll get back to making some videos. Now, the reason I did find out the reason why it's making noise the pattern's good the bearings the bearing preload's good on both the carrier and the the pinion the issue is the ring gear run out you probably heard me mention in other video uh, other videos about this uh gear gear change where the backlash was varying between uh well this time it was varying between six thousandths and ten thousandths and the reason for it is i i in some of the other videos, I uh, called it, uh, I said the ring gear might be out of round. That's not the proper name. The proper name is ring gear run out. And you measure that with uh, uh dial indicator. You mount it. I actually videoed me doing it, but uh, something happened. The camera didn't actually record it or something. It got lost anyway. Anyway, all you got to do is go on YouTube and, and uh, type in ring gear run out and you'll see how to measure it. Anyway, from what I've been able to find on the internet, uh, anything over two thousandths is too much. I've seen one guy's video where he said uh, when a customer brings in their ring and pinion and their carrier, he measures both the carrier and the ring, the ring gear. And if it's, if it's more than two thousandths out, he he won't install them because he said there's no way to keep them from making noise so i'm thinking that's what's going on with mine it's the run out was uh i think it was around five thousandths run out so that's way more than two and so i don't think it doesn't matter how i install these gears they're just going to be noisy no matter what if you decide to install gears yourself is make sure that's the that should be about the first thing you check is the run out. If it's if there's too much run out, in my opinion, the best thing to do if the run out's over two thousandths, send it right back to the manufacturer that you bought it from. But anyway, a new plan for me is I'm gonna break these in, and when I get the break in miles on it, change the fluid. If the fluid's not like completely shiny, where it's right full of metal. Then I'm going to continue running it. Mind you, I'll also remeasure the backlash, make sure the backlash hasn't increased. And after that, I'm just going to run it. And then the new plan for next winter is I'm going to pull this all out again. And I'm going to get, uh, well, first thing I'll do is pull the ring and pinion off and measure the run out of the carrier to make sure it's not messed up. And, uh, if the carrier turns out to be all right, I'm going to order a new set of gears, but I'm going to, I'm going to get a two-cut gear. And the two-cut is what the manufacturers use, and the reason they use it is because it it's, tends to be quieter than the, the five-cut. And the five-cut is what I have now. I'm going to show you what the differences are. Okay guys, so here we here we get the Richmond five cut gear and this is the original GM 323 gears that are the two cut. So on the five cut, when you look at the teeth, this is the toe, this is the heel. And you'll notice the toe is slightly shorter than the heel. And that's that's the five cut gear. Okay, so this here's the two cut. And this is still the toe and this is still the heel. But if you notice, they're exactly the same height. There's, whereas on the five cut, the toe was shorter than the, the heel. And that's the difference. And apparently these two cut gears run quite a bit uh, quieter. And that's why the original manufacturers use them. Another thing I'll show you too, is this the 323 gear? Look how much thicker the 390 gear is because it has to get in there because the pinion gear is so much smaller. This is the 323 versus the 390s. Quite a difference in size. Okay, guys. Uh, one other thing. Uh, in the next week or two, we're going to be installing a few parts on uh, 
the Stuntman's 2016 Camaro, and then we're going to get that out and test it. And this one here, as soon as I get the braking miles on it, I'll uh, get this one out and test it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.